Welcome to Conspiracy 420, the Son of Sam Chronicles with Carl DeNaro. I'm Rocker Mike, there's Rob Rossi, Carl DeNaro. And we're talking about the uh, very last Son of Sam shooting. Uh, last two episodes we kind of unpacked the details of it. But in this episode I'd like to get into some of the conspiracy behind it. Um, we mentioned there was a van at the shooting. Uh, opposite to Stacy Moskowitz and Robert Violante's car. There was a person leaning on the van itself, smoking a cigarette, walked over, three shots. Now, why was that van there? Okay, uh, Maury Terry gets into this in the book. Uh, let's try to talk in a little more detail about that call. Yeah, so this is... Um uh, this, this part, um, this part of Son of Sam story is uh, is that, based based on Maury Terry's research. Research. Right. Um, I don't totally discount it. I don't totally buy it though. Um, and the reason I don't totally buy it is there's a lot of loose ends uh, that uh, they don't they don't match up in my opinion they don't match up as good as the other um, investigative work that that Maury did um, you know um, so, so with that said uh, the last shooting was supposedly uh, filmed as a snuff film now what was a snuff film because our younger audiences uh, might a, not a know snuff that. film it, it's basically uh, film filming somebody's uh, Murder. Murder. Sometimes it was a rape. Sometimes right. Some, it was yes. something horrible. Something horrible. You things that we see could news. things that we could see on the internet today. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Back forty five years ago was a somebody had to order that and make it happen. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. You know, terrible. But these things existed. So just just as as a side note, I guess the first um, snuff film would be. Um, Lee Harvey Oswald getting yeah. shot by uh, yeah. Jack Ruby. Te technically, I mean, yeah. Yeah. The first yeah. first murder on TV, anyway. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, this is a little bit different. Um, I, I I don't know. Uh, someone getting shot. <clears throat> I guess it appeals to some some people. Um, I don't know. It, now, it, who ordered just, this snuff film? It's a, it, well, well, who ordered it? The, the story goes that Roy Radin, um, who. Um, who was uh, eventually murdered? <clears throat> murdered in California with a bullet in the back of his head. Right. Um, he was a known. Um, uh, let's, uh, uh, he was a known Satan Satanist. He used to uh, walk around his mansion uh, mm -hmm. in the Hamptons, Hamptons with a with a, a black cape and yeah. um, you know a lot of uh, S and M. And he had sex parties. You remember Melanie Howler? Mm -hmm. <coughs> She was supposedly kidnapped. Well, she not you know, well, suppo raped is supposedly raped, yeah. she was she was raped and drugged and put on a Long Island Railroad where the cops found her yeah. and um, uh, I mean obviously something happened. Um, yeah. One guy one guy went to jail on a gun charge. Uh, actually, I think Raiden was arrested on a gun charge, and somebody else was um, was arrested uh, at her date actually. Um, the guy that brought her out there, he was arrested for, I don't know. Uh, I think that was what brought a lot of people's attention to Roy Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah. that point, what he was But, um, you know, it's some of the, uh, you, you know, investigative work uh, done on uh, Roy Raiden and his house out in the mansion, uh, out in the Hamptons. Hamptons. Um, uh, you know, pizza delivery guys were saying, you know, they'd deliver pizza and it'd be, you know, 60-year-old men in their underwear with a dog collar on being, <laughs> being whipped by a He had a matrix. room that was nothing but a bed. Yeah. Which I get. Yeah. You know. He, 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 was a strange, he was a strange dude. Yeah. So, uh, to continue, get back to the Son of Sam, just to give you a little background on Roy Radin's uh, world. Um, supposedly, they wanted to film, he wanted a, a snuff film. He wanted, uh, you know, a Son of Sam shooting uh, in his in his collection. Jesus. <laughs> so they, um, they picked a spot on Shore Road. As we mentioned before, um, there was a very bright street light that uh, um, everyone has, has said, it, including police who don't believe a snuff film was was made. They even say 
there was enough light there uh, to, shoot know, to shoot a movie. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So there was a, a van, a, a van parked across uh, across the road from uh, where Robert and Stacy were were sitting. Um, I'm not sure if the guy gets out of the van or if he just appears, um, but he's leaning against the van, I believe, smoking a cigarette, and uh, basically tosses a cigarette, takes like three long strides across the street, and and pulls the uh, pulls the trigger, and apparently it it it, it was filmed. Um, again, according to Maury, um, Ron Sisman was the uh, photographer. Um, who also just yeah. to go back, Ron Sisman actually has ties to Roy Raiden, so it's not. They were associated in the past. Uh, they were associated in the past. Uh, Sisman was, uh, you know, I think he was like the in-house photographer at uh, <clears throat> at Raiden's parties in the Hamptons. Mm -hmm. um, and the story goes that uh, Roy Raiden approached uh, Robert Maplethorpe, who was a known Satan Satanist, um, and. Uh, He's known for his, uh, what would you call those uh, photographs? Homo, homo, homo erotic, erotic, homo uh, erotic uh, yeah. photographs. Right. Um, Very popular New yeah, York but, City artist. Yeah. At the time. And uh, so supposedly Raiden asked Maplethorpe to make get the snuff film made. Maplethorpe went to Sisman, and Sisman gets his camera equipment and uses somebody's van, we don't know whose van it was, um, and... Filmed from the van. Filmed from the van, right. And um, another person in the van was uh, Mickey uh, Devenko, who was Roy Raiden's right-hand man. So, you know, the story kind of fits, um, but, uh, you know, I, I know I know of two cops who, um, who uh, were basically, were, were friends of Maury Terry, um, and uh, both of them told me there's, they, they think there's no evidence of a snuff film. Um, but that doesn't mean it's not true just because... Well, I mean, what would they base that on? It's never surfaced. Yeah, no, well, okay. It's never, th you know, that's, what, what else could it be? All right. It, they, well, the, the, van, the van wasn't there by the time the police showed up. No, the van. Okay. The van was. The van uh, but, disappeared. But we know the van was there because of the witness of, of yes. Tommy Zeno. Yep. Okay. So Tommy Zeno saw the van, yes. but yet the van wasn't there when the at, cops when arrived. The cops at, are, which right. was about 15, 20 minutes after the shooting. Right. So okay, the, it took the, about that the long. Van, the, yeah. yeah. So the van takes off. Um, just to fast forward a little bit um, to answer your question about why why cops uh, would think that. There's no um, snuff film. No snuff film. Um, I don't know. A year later, year and a half later, uh, Ron Sisman, the supposed photographer, and his his sometimes girlfriend uh, Elizabeth Platzman, were found um, murdered in, in, in his in his yeah. brownstone. Chelsea brownstone. Chelsea, yeah. right? And um, it, it was done execution style, bowl to the back of the head. Ooh. Right. And, and the place was ransacked. Like they were looking for something. They were looking for something. Now, the cops tell me, uh, again, let me go back. Uh, besides being a photographer and a videographer, or whatever they called them back then, because this was before video, yeah. um, a filmmaker, um, he was also a drug dealer. Right. So the cops tell me that Sisman, Sisman's involvement had to do with drugs, not a snuff film, mm -hmm. and and the reason he was killed was, uh, you know, a, dr a drug deal. Um, so drug deal gone bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they could have ransacked the place know, looking for money, right? Any drugs, anything. and and to this day, no snuff film was ever been found. That that doesn't mean it wasn't made. Um, and this is not something you're going to see on Craigslist, yeah, or you know, or uh, eBay. I don't think anyway, <laughs> but so far it hasn't surfaced. Um, so, to the viewers, uh, you know, you, you know, you can you make your own decisions. You know, well, I'm I'm kind of like on the fence. I mean, I can I could probably argue, yes, the snuff film was made, and here's why, and I, we've laid out most of it already. Yeah. yeah. Or you could say, yeah, it's all circumstantial evidence, and the fact that, 
you know, it's kind of like a dead body. It's like, it, did a murder happen? If you don't find a body, yeah, it's really hard to prove murder. Right. Well, same thing. If there's no snuff, if there's no actual tape, how can you prove? How it? can you prove there's a snuff film? Okay. Well, well, two interesting side notes with that is with what ultimately happened to Roy Radin. Okay, he he was murdered, left in the desert, out in California, right? Oh, right. Out some, on the way to yeah, yeah. Arizona, yeah, it's or whatever. San Bernardino. San Bernardino. Valley, okay, right. Left in the desert. Uh, Maury Terry went out there mm -hmm. right after the murder and discovers in a tree right near the crime scene that nobody noticed before a Bible in the tree. <laughs> Up in a tree. Okay? Oh, yeah. Now, what, what made Maury? Look there, I have no idea, but it was in a, in a spot in the tree. <clears throat> and it was open up to a, a verse in the, yeah. in the Bible. I uh, forget exactly which one, but it was it was more or less saying, I think like, you, you know, reap what you saw, eye for an eye, or something like yes. that. Yes. Okay. It, was, it was apropos for yeah. for a murder. Yeah. yeah, and how the the police missed that, I don't know. They didn't look right. closely in the they tree. Were I guess. Looking so, okay, so I, why was that there? Right. Okay. So I just want to add something mm -hmm. to that because there's been um, some speculation, um, of actually recent speculation that Maury planted, uh, oh. Maury planted the Bible. Oh, that's fake. Um, oh. no, I, I could tell you that. I, that's not. Good. I could tell you. I could tell you. I, I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure that's not true, and the reason being is his wife, his current, his wife at the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, Georgiana was with him and I'm in contact with her all the time and she she is sworn to me that she was there when he found the Bible so wow. the people that are saying it's not true are just saying it's not true yeah it's not I, based on any it's not based evidence. on no it, it's just kind of like as you, you know to go to what you said it's like how did the cops miss it uh, that's a good question. I had the cops miss it, but it wasn't planted. Well, look, I mean, cops miss things. Okay. Well, you, you have know, to realize it happens. his body was found in, in a remote um, area. It wasn't a trail. Right. Um, was his car there, or was he just body just found? No, he was I, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to think now if 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 um, I, 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 I'm trying to think if if Maury actually found the body. No, uh, the body no. was already found. The body was already found, and he went right. after the fact. Right. He found out where the spot was. Right. Okay. Uh, what I'm trying to remember is if if he was Raiden was found with his car nearby, you know, like a limo or a no, no, or something, no, or? It, it, no. And no. the reason the reason we know that is because um, he had a, a dinner date with. Um, with a uh, Laney, um, God, I can't remember her name. This had to do with the uh, the Cotton Club. The yeah, Cotton they were making they, they were making the movie, and there was right. issues with the financing. So, the, so there's two things That's involved there. So it's uh, what's his name, Evan Robert Robert Evans. Evans. Yeah, he was the producer and you know well known Hollywood guy and. I want to say Laney Kazan. That's not right though. Uh, no. uh, yeah, I forget anyway, the whole story, but yeah. Anyway, she she was um, she was a huge cocaine dealer. Like, I mean, like uh, she was like the you know, like a like a medallion uh, mm -hmm. cartel. Mm -hmm. You know, not wow. you know. Yeah, she was big, and of course, uh, you know, if you don't know it, uh, a lot of uh, Hollywood uh, productions are financed with cocaine. drugs. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Raiden. Raiden was very well known on the East Coast, um, doing his vaudeville um, shows. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, be uh, be uh, acts. You know, old vaudeville acts. Um, People and he would drag and right. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and he, and he wanted to. Um, he was he was big, but it was it, but it was this, he had a, you know he had shows like every night. Uh, yeah. be, you know, because they were like he would do like you know PBA. Um, PBA shows, uh, you know, he'd do like school socials, like mm -hmm. fundraisers, you yeah. know, and uh, but he wanted to go to big time, which so he wanted to get involved in movies. So this Cotton Club thing, this is this is going to be his thing. So it was him, this Laney, Francis Ford Coppola was directing, and, uh, and um, 
and Evans. And um, and again, drugs were involved. I don't know the whole the whole thing, but um, j drugs were involved, and he had a meeting, and he had his um, uh, he. I guess he figured something was up, and um, uh, uh, Demond uh, Wilson from Sanford and Son Lamont was, from Lamont, Sanford, so right? You know, yeah, was, was supposed to follow follow him yeah. um, to this dinner date, whatever. And uh, he's in the car with this woman, mm -hmm. and um, they, uh, he loses him in traffic. And that's the end of the story until like three days later when, when Roy Rayton doesn't show up and they find his body um, in San Bernardino with a bolt in the back of his head. Yeah. And it's interesting how DeMond Wilson, you know, ended up being a, a minister uh, after all this. After that, he turns soon, into soon, a minister. As soon as all that happened. Yeah. And then to go full circle, uh, our Manson II from the Christine Freund shooting mm -hmm. um, is in jail. For the murder of Roy Rayden. Of Roy Rayden. Wow. Okay. If that's Manson too. If, if, we, yeah. if that's correct. Well, if it's Manson too, we, we do know we do know for sure that that uh, William Menzer is in jail for the murder of Roy Rayden. Or you know, not a hundred percent sure of that. As a hit. It was definitely a definitely hit. A I hit. mean, he was definitely lured. You know, lured. Into, you know, lured to a, a dinner date uh, with with the you know the woman. Um, I, I believe they were they were meeting up with Evans too. Yeah. Evans took the fifth during the trial. Right. Wow. Uh, not to incriminate himself, and um, that I don't know to me that I know I know taking the fifth is uh, perfectly legal, but uh, it certainly doesn't um, certainly doesn't doesn't make you look innocent. That's that's for sure. Right. So that that's the uh, that's the short version of the. Uh, the uh, possible snuff uh, film uh, at the uh, Moskowitz Fiolanti shooting. And real quickly, Robert Maplethorpe, okay, grew up about two blocks away from, from Joanne Lamino. Joanne Lamino and Donna DeMassi. And Donna yeah. DeMassi. That was the uh, Floral Park yes. shooting. Uh, was in the area, okay, well, family was in the area of that yeah, shooting. Yeah. Uh, Strange coincidence again. Okay. Another strange coincidence, and you can you yeah. can watch his can, documentary. Yeah. Uh, that his family um, uh, was all behind. In fact, his his sister's mother and father were were uh, a big part of the documentary. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one part I I it sticks in my head is I believe it was his sister saying, "Oh, you know, Robert would show up at all crazy times, right, with friends. just to say hello." Right. And um, and he, I often wonder that he show up after the Lumino shooting. Is that is that the safe house that they use? And I believe he had a pentagram tattooed on his leg, uh, um, on the inside. I, of his that leg. I don't know, but I do I know so. he's posed. He he. There's a pretty famous photo of him with a pentagram yeah. in the background, and he's holding uh, I, like some kind of uh, rifle. Yeah, whatever that uh, means. I don't yeah. know. Okay, yeah. but okay, so. That wraps up this episode. Thank you, Carl. Uh, stay tuned, folks, for more great episodes of Conspiracy 420, The Son of Sam Chronicles with Carl DiNardo. Thank you.